This is the air servo uh, that helps change the gear or helps the driver change the gears um, by giving him a, basically a leg up because if he had to do it on his own, which would be too hard to operate. You can see it now in its restored form um, with a couple of exceptions, which we'll go on to later. Uh, but essentially it consists of a really big piston on the bottom, which is injected with air. When the driver operates the gear change pedal, um, this um, system activates and through a series of linkages changes the gear in the transmission compartment. When we stripped this apart, um, the piston was um, full of um, congealed oil and mud. Um, and we even found a couple of old washers within the mechanism as well that had been left there by a driver a long time ago. Um, we've been very grateful for some of the comments that you've given us and, and the encouragement. Um, and we'd, what we'd like to do is offer some of you, or any of you, the opportunity to contribute to the project. Um, and, and this little job here that we need to do is to make new leather uh, gaiters um, in order to put this thing back into operation. In actual fact, the reason that all of the debris was found in the piston uh, was because these leather gaiters had failed. So if you do work with leather um, and you'd like to give it a shot and have something that you've made permanently on the Matilda, uh, then please get in contact with us. We can send you the um, specs, uh, but for obvious reasons we can't send you the original parts. Another interesting feature of the Matilda um, is the turret and the turret basket. Um, in front of you now, you see the turret floor. And really, that's the demarcation between the hull of the vehicle and the turret, and it starts here. Several reasons to have this. Um, you need a turret floor in order for the crew to be able to move around as the turret traverses. Uh, the turret um, floor also gives a stable um, platform for turret fixings, such as heel guards, uh, seats, and ammunition stowage, all of which you see here in front of you. When we strip this apart, we noticed that inside the metal skin uh, that goes above and below the turret floor, it had been allowed to sag, which was found in the uh, electrical and the hydraulic components that run across it underneath in the hull. The reason the wood um, inside it had completely rotted away. One of the features um, on the turret floor that I'd like to talk about is the seat. Um, when we have um, eventually stripped it apart, we know it was completely seized. And there's rather a large spring in the back which gives us an uh, extreme amount of tension that we had to diffuse before we could take it apart. Interestingly, the mechanism that operates this uh, was taken, um, outsourced really, from a, a bicycle company called F. Bloomfield. The seat's operated by use of this pedal, and as you push your weight down on it, you can lock the seat off. Because the mechanism that locks it incorporates a drum brake system, you then can return it um, just by placing a demand in on the foot pedal. The more demand you put in, the faster the seat will rise and fall.